So what's up guys? I'm now back with another collection video and this time it's gonna be one of my last ones or at least for a while, I guess. And this video is gonna be all of my vintage band tees. So now you might ask, what constitutes a vintage band tee? And for me, that's something usually before the 2000s. Although if it's early 2000s, like one or two that I have in here, I'll add it in. I'll count it as vintage, it's still pretty old, but it's mostly bands that I used to listen to when I was younger and that my parents used to listen to when they were younger. And I've just grown up with them. I have some original t-shirts some older reproduction t-shirts and those older reproductions are usually for bands that are from the 70s but then they reproduce some shirts in the 90s for people who still listen to them or when they were touring again so now without further ado let's get into it so this first t-shirt i actually got because i started listening to the band through gabby when we first met we talked about what kind of music we like and she told me that her parents love the cure so i listened to some of the songs one amazing one is friday i'm in love and i said hey it's a great band i click t-shirts let me get one another great song is actually pictures of you great great song listen to that first but the 1980s cure t-shirt super super thin i could see you through that you know i'm holding up two fingers right now i can see that <laughs> And yeah, love this shirt. It's on a Screen Stars tag, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. It's a great shirt. Pretty sure this is a lead singer and yeah, his face and the eyes. So yeah, I was gonna put it on. Honestly, I filmed this video once before and I had it on, but I had to start again and I don't feel like doing it. Allergies, you know, blame the bees, all the pollen. Yeah, shirt number one, The Cure, 1980 shirt. Next, I'm gonna show you guys two shirts you've already seen. And they are these. They are my Smiths bootleg style t-shirts. They're when the Smiths went on concert and it's Morrissey in front of one of their huge posters in a subway system. However, I'm not gonna make it boring and talk about these for a while because I already have. So these printed early 2000s slash late 90s go with this shirt. And this is one of my favorite shirts. You guys actually saw it in my video, How to Thrift Online. So I'm sorry, I know it's kind of recycling a shirt, but I didn't get to talk about it. This is a bootleg Smith shirt. You usually see the Smiths across the top and I'll show you where I talk about it in that video. But yeah, I love these Smiths t-shirts because they're just a neutral color, usually a white, gray, or now off-white slash beige because of fading and yellowing with just a one color halftone. And if you're not familiar with screen printing, I'll tell you what halftoning is. So halftoning is when you try to depict or illustrate a shadow or some three-dimensional figure using only one color. And that's pretty hard. However, if you convert the image into dots, that allows you to use the concentration of dots to show, okay, this is a dark green. So I'm going to have a lot of concentration of dots. This is a light green, so I'm gonna have a lower concentration of green dots. So in this shirt, you can see where it's dark, there's a bunch of green dots, and where it's light, there's only a finite amount of green dots. On the back, it says the queen is dead. Definitely listen to the Smiths. They broke apart pretty early in their career. However, so many good songs, such as There's Light That Never Goes Out, How Soon Is Now, Big Mouth Strikes Again, Girlfriend in a Coma, so many. Listen to the Smiths. All right, next, I got a t-shirt from a band that I was introduced to from my parents at a very young age. You may know the song, should I stay or should I go? Rock the Casbah, Guns of Brixton. That band is The Clash. This is a great shirt. It is a 90s reproduction of an original shirt from the 70s. It's still vintage though. And it's just The Clash. It's one of their albums. It says, give them enough rope, another halftone image. And by halftone, like I just said, making the image with dots. So you'll have the red, blue, yellow, and black all together made out of dots to make this image. Actually, what got me into The Clash even more after my parents told me about them was when I realized that they were in Guitar Hero. Pretty sure it's Guitar Hero 2, if I had to guess. Yep, great shirt. All right. So next I'm going with the shirts from my favorite band. And I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I love Kiss. My dad and his cousins always used to listen to Kiss. They took me to a Kiss concert when I was about four, had my face painted as Gene Simmons. Flash forward a few years later, and I had my second grade report card. They said, draw a picture of yourself. And what did I do? I drew a picture of myself as Gene Simmons. So yeah, guess you guys could say I love Kiss and it's always stuck with me. They have some great songs, great artwork, and why not get some of their stuff on t-shirts? So the first one is this Kiss Animalize shirt by Animalize. It is the name of one of their albums. So you have Kiss in the zebra print, all of them out of costume to go together with the late 70s, early 80s vibe with music where it was more pop and they weren't wearing their costumes in this at least. And it has Animalize almost as if it's like a comic book font where it's like quick or it's like blood splatter but yeah so kiss animalize them on the front and on the back it says if it's too loud you're too old it's always hard for me because i see it backwards but i just know this shirt so well that i know it says that and a cool thing about this t-shirt is that i actually have the original record from when my parents used to collect records so this is the kiss animalize record and the best song on this album i'm sorry if you have a different opinion is definitely heaven's on fire 
Heavens on Fire is a great song and go listen to it if you haven't. Kiss Animalize. You see the different animal prints, they go together with the animal prints on the Kiss logo on the shirt. All right, following with the Kiss theme, out of all of my Kiss goods, this is probably my favorite. I have some pretty cool stuff, like two of these Kiss clocks. However, this is probably my favorite piece. It is a Kiss Creatures of the Night album t-shirt. This is not a bootleg. The person who I got it off of actually in the early 80s sent money into a magazine that used to send you t-shirts back. That's how I got this. It's an amazing shirt and it has them on the back in costume. The funny thing about this, and if you couldn't tell this was my favorite album, so I not only have one copy of the original album, two copies of the original album, but three. These two are the image that you see on the t-shirt. I'm sorry for the glare. And this one goes together with the animal eyes that I just showed you. They're out of costume and it's a great album. Best song on this album is I Love It Loud. This album and the artwork always was drawn to my attention because it's outside of Kiss's normal colors. You usually don't see them or at least illustrated like this, a little bit cartoony in blues and purples. That's why I like it. You can see Peter Chris really looks like a cat there. And lastly, this is my oldest of the Kiss shirts and it is copyrighted 1994 right here. And it is a Kiss glow in the dark shirt from one of their catalogs. It is on a cronies tag. And I hope I remember when I'm editing this to get a picture of this glowing in the dark. If I do, it'll be right here. Next, I got one of my favorite shirts in my entire collection and that is my Velvet Underground t-shirt. This goes with their 1967 album that featured artwork by Andy Warhol on the cover. And it says peel slowly and see. It's using his banana and on the album, obviously not on the t-shirt because you can't really do that on a t-shirt. If you were to peel it, you get a pretty ripe banana. So it's on this t-shirt. I wore it when I went to California for the first time, wore this to the Rose Bowl and someone wanted to buy it off my back. I declined, love the shirt too much. And the back's great. The Velvet Underground, yellow, blue around it. This is on a Hanes 50-50 tag. Next, you guys know the story about this. I didn't really know this is a pretty hype shirt. Connie, Travis Scott, apparently they wore it. I'm not gonna wear it for a little bit. I'll keep it on the back burner for a little bit, wear it a few years down the road. But I got this at the round two vintage opening at New York. Um, I camped out with Nick. Nick, I'm sorry I haven't shouted you out any earlier. I know you want a shout out, so here's your shout out. Camped out with Nick, got this t-shirt along with a Led Zeppelin, babe, I'm gonna leave you. However, sold the Led Zeppelin and kept this. This is an amazing shirt. The black is super faded. It's more of a charcoal slash light gray. It's on a Brockham tag. I'll let it focus. And it's an amazing shirt. You got the diver with the reflective image because of the water on the front, blue, sky blue on the gray. And on the back, you got the man shaking hands with the machine, it says Wish You Were Here. Wish You Were Here album is great. However, I don't have it. I have the original Dark Side of the Moon, but that's not really my favorite. Yeah, honestly, in terms of t-shirts, I don't really like that album's t-shirts anyway, unless it's one of the old ringers. The album's pretty good. You got money on it. I don't know. Or Breathe, it's not really my favorite. Wish You Were Here, it's definitely better. So, great shirt. Next, I got this t-shirt as an inspiration from my roommate Dylan. Shout out to Dylan. I hope you're watching this Dylan. So the story, as I'll tell it, goes Dylan drives the Ram van. He drove us to practice one day and he played a song. The song was Funny the Way It Is by the Dave Matthews Band. I immediately realized, wow, that's a great t-shirt for a band that I don't have. And what did I do? Went on eBay, searched Dave Matthews Band, and this t-shirt had elephants and it's at the Dave Matthews Band. So I said I had to get it. You guys know the story about my family and elephants. We love elephants. So I got it. Great shirt, Dave Matthews Band, blue elephants. All right. After this, I got a t-shirt from a psychedelic rock band that my parents actually told me about. And that band is Jefferson Airplane. They told me about the song White Rabbit, you know, the song that talks about Alice in Wonderland, yada, yada, yada. However, you may not know that in 1974, they changed from Jefferson Airplane to Jefferson Starship. So with that being said, I got this t-shirt, 1981 Screen Stars. Jefferson Starship. You got the woman with the huge dragon and the planet in the back. Amazing, amazing screen printed graphic, as you guys could see. And on the back, if you thought the front was good, the back is in another world of its own, literally. So it says Jefferson Starship. You got a boy, almost on like a simulation or some sort of grid, and he's like pushing some plasma or a character. It's just amazing. I honestly don't even know how someone would begin to screen print this, but hey, gonna have a screen print tutorial soon. So yeah, this is the Screen Stars tag. It's a pretty old one. All right, so next I got a t-shirt from a great punk rock band from the 1980s, and that band is Sonic Youth. You really don't see t-shirts from Sonic Youth often, but when they do come up, they go for a lot of money. They sell quickly. They're super rare. So this one is from the album Goo. You can see the artwork. However, this one's a little different. It says right here, this is not real, but not fake. That's not on the album. In other ones, like I stole a car, blah, blah, blah. So this one I thought was pretty cool. Long sleeve, black, great color, great wear. And I decided to get it. Best song on Goo is Cool Thing, or at least in my opinion. On the back, there's a Sonic Youth hit. All right, next I'm gonna show you guys some shirts that you've already seen, and I'm sorry, but I can't forget them in this. So they are my 
Ereshore shirts. So you guys saw this one in one of my earlier videos. And I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I said they're a one hit wonder band. However, they're not always as good and show a little respect. I don't remember if that's the exact title, but something with respect, it's a great song. So, you know, I didn't really do them the justice they deserved, but this is the shirt you guys saw, Wild on the back, but I got a second one and by mistake, I dyed it with some red clothing. So this is the second one and it's a little pink. You guys can see the difference, right? But it's not too bad, still looks great. And two amazing shirts. I wear these a lot. After just a quick shirt, Britpop band, and it's Oasis. Don't Look Back in Anger, Champagne Supernova, Wonderwall, amazing, amazing songs, great band, and shout out to James. I know you love Wonderwall as a song, so here it goes, Wonderwall, for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sorry James if that got you mad. Next is an actual one hit wonder band, but this band actually made my favorite song slash music video. This video and song is Take On Me by AHA. Very rare t-shirt. You almost never see AHA t-shirts anywhere, so I had to get it. Great price, 1986. But the reason why I love the music video so much is that it's pretty old, yet the idea is amazing. All in three minutes, you have a woman find a man on a comic book type thing, then the man attracts a woman, they jump in the comic book and then somehow get out amazing the guy's being caught all within three minutes i forget how it ends but i'm pretty sure it's a cliffhanger i'll definitely have to watch it again right after this so listen to take on me and watch the music video this next shirt i got inspired to buy because i was reminded of it through a show that i love that show is the oa the OA is an amazing show. Please, please watch it. I promise you will not regret it. It may start off a little slow for some people, although I was hooked from the beginning and it really picks up and it's an amazing show. So watch the OA. However, and without giving any spoilers, in the second season, what song plays? Lightning Crashes. Lightning Crashes is a great song from the band Live on the album Throwing Copper. That's another shirt I'm looking for. I'll put it right here. And let me know if you have a Throwing Copper shirt. But Phil, shout out to Phil. He also loves the song Lightning Crashes. And this is a t-shirt for Live from that era. Brockham Tag and them on the back. Lightning Crashes, great song. After I got a Grateful Dead shirt. This one's a little bit of a bootleg. Grateful Dead shirts are usually all over the place. You know, huge graphics, all over print, teddy bears, tie dye, rainbows. However, this one's really low key, or at least in Grateful Dead standards. This one has Jerry Garcia playing to some people, putting up a flag almost of the earth while on a different planet. You know, it's gray. At the bottom, the artist says Fretto, F-R-E-T-T-O. If you know anything about it, send it to me. Great shirt, decided to get it. Funny story, when I bought it off eBay, I snagged it right away because I couldn't let someone get it. I'd never seen it before, but I saw a manufacturer in China right away posted a picture of this shirt after it sold, same background still, and said reprint. I don't know how they would get good quality for a shirt that's just a screenshot of another shirt, but hey, who knows? I hope someone didn't get scammed out of that. Next, I got a shirt from a band that I learned about through Guitar Hero 2, actually. This band is, no doubt, great shirt, one of my favorites. It's almost like a little bit of an anime theme for all of them. You have Gwen Stefani and the three other members. I'm sorry, I don't know them well. I just know a few songs, but great song is Spiderwebs, Guitar Hero 2 also, I believe. I know I said Guitar Hero 2 before for The Clash, but I'm pretty sure both of these songs are on Guitar Hero 2. So listen to the song, Spiderwebs, great song, Gwen Stefani, no doubt. I hope I'm not just saying Gwen Stefani, that's not someone else, but yeah. I used to have two of these, one was huge. I unfortunately had to sell it, but anytime I see these, I do buy them. After, I got a shirt that right now, this group is pretty hype. The group is Public Enemy. This is a Public Enemy shirt, late 90s, early 2000s on a Delta tag. Delta deck's pretty worn out actually. I don't know if you could see anything. Great lettering. On the front it says public and on the back it says enemy. Both of them have the logo on the front and the back. Great shirt, got it at round two actually. Next, I got two shirts from The Doors. The Doors is an amazing band. I actually have the original, one of the original records here from the 80s. This is The Doors Greatest Hits record. And there are countless amazing songs by The Doors. Hello, I Love You, People Are Strange, LA Woman, Touch Me. The list goes on and on, honestly. But The Doors are amazing. I got this t-shirt. It's a newer 90s t-shirt on a Winterland tag. I've never shown you guys a Winterland tag, so here it is. I'll let it focus. I know, I let it focus is really like one of my mottos, but I like for you guys to see the tags. This is a 90s The Doors t-shirt on the Winterland tag, as I said. The back is The Doors in yellow, their logo, with almost like a radiating sun in the background. What I really like about this is everything's inverted. It almost looks like an x-ray, but at the same time, it looks like the sun. Great shirt. After, I got another door shirt. Just this one is just an in-memory shirt of Jim Morrison. This one, like the class shirt, is another half tone, meaning the whole image is made out of dots. This is one of my oldest t-shirts, I believe. It fits like a few shirts that I have from the 70s. So if I had to assume it's from the late 70s, you guys could see it again. You know the fit, it's very slim yet long. And you can tell by the fibers in the cotton that's almost a little different. It doesn't have a tag though. So unfortunately I can't really get an exact date of when it's from. Now onto my last two 
shirt. One is this hoodie. I actually forgot to talk about this in my last video. You guys probably remember I said after I unbox this box, I'm going to show you guys some of my recent pickups like this hoodie back here. And back here, I meant this hoodie. It said Skunk Records, Long Beach, California. But I just forgot to talk about it. This is a Sublime hoodie. Sublime is a great band. Great summer songs such as Doing Time, Santeria. Listen to them if you haven't. Amazing band, late 90s, California. I really like this because it says Sublime in the old English font. You don't see much in this font or if you do, it kind of looks a little corny. But this I think is so simple and it looks amazing. Last but not least, I got a t-shirt for my dad's favorite band, the Rolling Stones. I usually don't like t-shirts that have the American flag somewhere on them. However, this one was fitting. The Rolling Stones are great and my dad always loved them, always spoke about them. I haven't seen this shirt too much, so I decided to get it. Voodoo Lounge, 1994, 1995. Although it's my dad's favorite band, he really just saw them playing concert for the first time. And they're like 75 years old jumping around stage, which is insane. But white shirt, Voodoo Lounge, cool fun fact about this is that the character is in off-white. So there's a difference between this white and that white. The best song from the Rolling Stones is definitely Satisfaction. Although they have many other good ones like Angie, Street Fighting Man, the list goes on and on. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe down there. It truly helps YouTube algorithm, all that jazz. Please do that for me. My camera is just at the limit, made it just in time, and stay tuned for more guys. Thank you, peace.